guys and welcome back to my channel Arabic with me Rana. In this video we are going to continue with the part 2 of the verbs opposites and we are going to have both in standard and spoken Arabic. So we are going also to make a comparison between both of the dialect which is the spoken Levantine dialect and also the standard Arabic. Let's begin from the very first verb for this video which is to win. We will always start by the standard Arabic and then we are going to go with the spoken Arabic, spoken Levantine dialect. The verb to win is in the standard Arabic Rabiha, Rabiha, Rabiha. And the opposite of Rabiha is Khasira, Khasira, Khasira. All of the conjugations are with he conjugation, so always remember because he conjugation in the past tense is always the root of the verb. So again, I'll repeat to win is Rabiha, to lose is Khasira, Rabiha, Khasira, Rabiha, Khasira. And then to see how is they in the spoken Arabic, we are going to have the same verb in the spoken Levantine dialect, which is to win. Ribah. Huwa ribah. 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 And to lose, huwa khisr. Khisr. Ribah. Khisr. Ribah. Khisr. Let's see the next verb. To come. To come and to go. To come and to go. To come is in the standard Arabic huwa ata huwa ata some people would say huwa jaa of course both of them are in standard Arabic and both of them are correct when you are going to say to come so huwa ata huwa jaa huwa ata huwa jaa the opposite huwa dhahaba obviously it's to go so huwa ata huwa jaa huwa Zahaba, which is the opposite in the standard Arabic. But let's see what is the in the spoken Arabic. To come is huwe ija, huwe ija, and to go is huwe rah, ija, rah, ija, rah, rah, gone. <laughs> so let's see the next verb for this video. To sleep. To sleep in the standard Arabic is huwe nama, huwe. Nama, nama, huwa nama. To say to wake up, huwa, we have two verbs for this. Huwa istayqada, which is I really hate. Huwa istayqada. It's so weird to have the istayqada. So, oh my gosh. So, istayqada, huwa istayqada, and huwa saha, huwa saha. Istayqada or saha. We use this taqada more than we use saha. I will tell you, of course, in other videos why. So, huwa nama, to sleep, huwa istaykada, nama istaykada. But what is the same verb in the spoken Levantine dialect? Is to sleep, huwa nam, nam, without any short vowel at the end because we tend to reduce them in the dialect. So, huwa nam, huwa faq or fa. Huwinam huwe faq. Huwinam huwe faq. He slept. Huwinam huwe faq. He woke up. Nam faq. Nam faq. Let's see the next verb for this video. To borrow in the standard Arabic. To borrow, to lend. To borrow, to lend. To borrow is huwe istaara. Huwe istaara. Istaara. Huwe istaara. To land is huwa a'ara, huwa a'ara. So it's basically the same root there, with the, which is the ayn, the a, and the ra. Basically the same root, so ista'ara is to borrow, ista'ara is to borrow, to take it for yourself, and a'ara to give this to someone else, a'ara to lend it to someone else. So ista'ara, a'ara, ista'ara, a'ara. But what is the same exact verb in the spoken Arabic? In spoken Levantine dialect, we would say huwa istaara. It's the same thing, but without the short vowel at the end. Huwa star, star. So and then just like stop consonant. Huwa star. And for lending, 
هو عار so no need to say عار anymore no we don't really use the at the beginning so هو عار هو عار هو استعار هو عار هو استعار هو عار let's see the next verb for this video to shout and to whisper in the standard Arabic هو صرخ هو صرخ with a صاد هو صرخ هو صرخ he shouted he screamed هو صرخ and to whisper is هو همس ها with the H sound ها ها just like in a house هو همس هو همس to whisper so this is in the standard Arabic but what is it the same thing in the spoken Levantine dialect we may use the same exact verb which is in the standard Arabic but maybe doing a little bit of a change to it so we would say هو صرخ صرخ to really emphasize that he really shouted or screamed so هو صرخ صرخ or we could say هو عيط عيط هو عيط pay attention عيط in the Levantine dialect it's to shout or to scream but in Egyptian it means to cry so we are not here speaking about the Egyptian dialect we are speaking about the Levantine dialect so صرخ or عيط which is to scream or to shout but what is it to whisper it's the same thing in the standard which is هو همس هو همس هو همس هو همس هو صرخ هو عيط هو همس Let's see the next verb for this video To build and to destroy To build, to destroy To build in the standard Arabic is هو بنى هو بنى And to destroy هو هدم هو هدم هدم بنى هدم بنى هدم بنى هدم بنى البيت هدم البيت it could be also a metaphor of something. It could not really mean like to destroy something. No, it could be to destroy it as a metaphor. So this is bana hadama, build and destroy. But what is the same verb in the spoken Latin dialect? It is huwa bana, which is the same exact pronunciation, the same exact writing. Huwa bana and to destroy huwa hadam, hadam. We will stop at the end of the verb هو هدم هو هدم he destroyed this is the Levantine dialect let's see the next verb for this video to push and to pull push pull push pull push pull to push something to push the door to push someone to push whatever is in the standard Arabic هو دفع دفع هو دفع هو دفع I have a really nice story here for دفع because when we are going to say it in the commanding verb as an imperative, we are going to have it as idfa. You idfa. Idfa means like push. So we always have this push on the doors of shops. Always we have it. Till now we have like, you have to push. You don't have to pull it to your side. You have to push it inside. So always we have the push, which is idfa. And also it has the same exact verb as pay, which is also idfa. So we always thought when we were of course younger, like really young, we thought that, oh my God, should I like really pay so I can go inside of this shop? It's really weird. So this is a funny story, I think, in my opinion, in my culture, it's a funny story. So we used to have this miss leading information about the Arabic language when we were really young. So again, for pushing is دفعه, هو دفعه. And for to pull something, you have to say هو سحبه, سحبه. دفعه, سحبه. دفعه, سحبه. دفعه, سحبه. This is in the standard Arabic, but how about the Levantine dialect? We are going to have it as to push is هو دفع or هو دفش 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 is really more used it's so common but you can use both هو دفع هو دفش دفش and to pull something it's the same as the standard but of course we have to make it consonant at the end so we have to say هو سحب هو سحب دفع دفش سحب دفش سحب دفش سحب 
Let's see the next verb for this video. To succeed and to fail. Succeed, fail, succeed, fail. So in the standard Arabic, it is هو نجح with a ha like in مرحبا هو نجح هو فشل نجح فشل نجح فشل نجح فشل نجح فشل So this is in the standard Arabic, but how about the Levantine dialect? It's going to be هو نجح نجح هو نجح Some people would say نجح it's the same exact thing. هو نجح or هو نجح. And for failing, هو فشل. هو فشل. هو فشل. فشل. To fail. Let's see the next verb for this video, which is to teach. To teach in the standard Arabic, we have two ways of saying to teach. The first one is علمه. علمه, which comes from the root علم, which is the knowledge, the science. So it's علم. علم علم is he taught علم and we also can say درس 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 so علم or درس علم العربية درس العربية to teach Arabic so this is the two ways of saying to teach in the standard Arabic but how about to learn learn in the standard Arabic is تعلم ت Allama. So here it's just Allama without any T, but here it's Ta'allama. But we cannot say Tadarrasa. No, this one is wrong. So you have to say Allama. Darrasa as to teach and Ta'allama as to learn. But how to say the same exact verb in the spoken on Levantine dialect? We are going to say Huwe Allam. هو درس the same exact verb هو علم هو درس and for the opposite which is to learn هو تعلم هو تعلم so you have to really make it consonant on the ت هو تعلم تعلم هو تعلم this is to learn let's see the next and last verb for this video which is to sit down and to stand up sit down stand up sit down in the standard Arabic is هو جلسة هو جلسة جلسة or maybe some people may say it as قاعدة both of them are perfect so جلسة or قاعدة جلسة قاعدة and the opposite which is to stand up is هو وقف 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 how about this spoken Levantine dialect for the same verb which is to sit down we would say هو قاعد هو قاعد هو قاعد or هو قاعد and the opposite هو وقف وقف or وقف هو وقف or هو وقف which is to stand up now this is all of the opposite for this video I hope you like it if you like it don't forget to share the video with your friends and share it on Facebook on uh, Instagram whatever you like and don't forget to hit the like button and I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel to know that you are really interesting in my videos so I can do more of them and make more free contents for you so I really hope you like it don't forget to give me comments such as recommendations to all of the videos all of them also message me to Facebook page don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I'm posting things that are really fun there all the time every day almost every day and I will see you in next videos bye bye